it's the 14th today, but I got this a bit late. My daughter had surplus calendars, so she gave me one. So I'll have, I'll have number 13, which is Santa Claus. At least I had a look. My kids are so old now they just shove them in the mouth and don't even look what it is. Especially boy one, boy child. Right. Mm -hmm. Another UFO is on its way very shortly. Mm, that's melted the chocolate. Mm -hmm. Right. It's in this book by Debbie Bliss. An Andy's story, because the yarn is called Andy's. The garments I'm making, well, uh, this is another brown one, by the way. Is a moss stitch sweater. It's not got a name. And it is... one it's got two little pockets that are quite discreet um and it's loose fitting and a little bit drapey and it's kind of moss stitch which is like doing a never-ending ribbing isn't it Ball band for that one. I have quite a lot done. Of oh, looks like a complete back. Oh, it's so soft. on needles is it that bit I'll just find the other bit I'd only done a couple of pockets so there's no point me showing you then but this is the yarn and it is deliciously soft colour 370004 it's 65% baby alpaca and 35% mulberry silk that's 100 metres on a 50 gram skein. It's so soft. Alpaca and silk. So again, another one that I'd like to get finished. Get a good definition of stitch. And it's this with having the silk in has got a little bit of a sheen on it as well. Yeah, I'm not even... I think the camera's doing quite well actually, isn't it? Because that's the bottom and you can see where there's a slightly stiff, slightly different stitch for the rib. To the naked eye, it doesn't like, it's not that obvious. I suppose it will be when I'm wearing it. It's quite wide as well because it's a loose fitting garment, so there's probably quite a lot of knitting in it. So that, I think that's my longest standing UFO that I really should finish. Because <laughs> it's a bit lovely and absolutely luxurious and I don't know. Here's something to brighten it all day. Mm. No, they need. They definitely need some water. But look at these beauties. Ah. It's raining. It's windy and horrible. 
And I've got some beautiful flowers. A lovely neighbour. I think I need to do a little bit of deadheading. So I've got some chilies that are hanging on. We haven't had much frost or anything yet though. 